Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Om and today we are going to learn how to determine the length and width of the staircase. So let's start. So this is our first slide. How to determine length and width of a staircase. So before determining the length and width of the staircase, we need to know how the plan of a staircase looks like and how its eleva elevation looks like. So we will quickly go to the plan of a staircase. This is our plan of a staircase. This portion is called landing. This portion where steps are present is called going and this portion is called landing. The summation of landing and going is equal to the length of the staircase and the summation of first going, second going and the spacing between the goings is called width of the staircase. So here these lines represent the steps and this one is also known as first going because we start going up through this then moving in the clockwise direction from the landing we go to the first going to reach the next floor now this is the elevation this is a tread riser type staircase this is a type of staircase from the structural point of view and this is dog legged type staircase from the geometrical point of view. Now we need to do the calculations to know the length and width of the staircase. So first of all we need to know the floor to floor height. So generally the floor is 10 feet and 6 inch above the bottom floor. So floor to floor height is 10 feet 6 inch but we have to convert that into meters and in meter it is 3.2 meter. For the residential building the range of riser is from 150 mm to 190 mm but we need to know how did we get this range. So we will go to the book of RCC. In chapter 12 we have design of a staircase and I have highlighted the important points. So the horizontal top portion of a step is termed as tread and the vertical projection of a step is called riser. So what it means? Let's look at the elevation of the staircase. So, this vertical projection of the steps is called riser and this horizontal portion is called tread. I think it's clear to you. Now, values of 300 mm and 150 mm are ideally assigned to the tread and riser respectively which means ideally your tread is of 300 mm and your riser is of 150 mm but it can range up to 250 mm in case of tread and the higher value of the riser can go up to 190 mm so I have taken a range of 150 mm to 190 mm for the riser. So now we know from where we got this value. Now we have to assume the riser from this range. So we will assume it as 150 mm which will be equals to 0.15 meter. Now how to calculate the number of riser? So, obviously, this will be calculated from the elevation. 
So if your floor to floor height is 3.2 meter and each riser is of 0.15 meter, then if you divide the floor to floor height by the height of riser, then you can easily get the number of steps. So how can one get the number of riser? So it's 3.2 meter because height of floor is 3.2 meter divided by 0 0.15 meter because we have assumed the riser at 0 0.15 meter. Now this will be equals to approximately 21. So we have got our total number of risers. Moving forward, we need to know number of riser in first going. So uh, as I have explained you before, this is our first going. This is our landing and this is our second going. This little space is the spacing between the going. This space is the spacing between the going. So. Now, we have number of riser in first going. So, our total number of riser is tw 21. So, we will keep it 11 here and 10 here. Now, we need to determine the number of tread. So, number of tread, just a moment. Yeah, my laptop was discharged, so now I have put it on charging. The number of ch trade in first going. So number of trade is calculated as n minus one, where n is the number of riser. So in our first going, number of riser is eleven. So number of trade in first going will be eleven minus one which is equals to 10. Similarly, number of trade in second going will be 10 minus 1, that is 9. You can see we are using this formula, where n is the number of riser. Now we have to assume the width of trade. So we will go back to the book and we have seen that the width of trade is usually 300 mm and it can range from 250 mm to 300 mm so for now we will take 300 mm so we can assume the width of trade as 300 mm which is equals to 0 0.3 meter now the length of going so this is our going and you can see this horizontal projection is our tread. So if we multiply the number of tread with this horizontal projection that is tread, then we can get the length of going. So our number of tread, here we have two numbers of tread, one is 10 and second one is 9. So we will go for the higher number which is 10. So it will be 10 multiplied by width of tread which is 0 0.3 meter and it is equal to 3 meter. Now we need to calculate the width of first going. So we have this length now. This is what 3 meter okay and now we need to know the width of first going so we need to know this width because this is length of going so this is width of going 
how do we determine the width of going so what for what purpose the staircase are used for you can drop your comment below to tell us the purpose of a staircase like i am going to explain you the width of going and for that i will let you know how to determine it but the purpose of a staircase that you have to tell so usually apart from other uses the staircase is used for the transferring of object from one floor to another floor normally our width of the object varies from 1 meter i'm sorry it varies from 1 feet to 3 and 1/2 feet so which is approximately 1 meter so if you are constructing an a staircase of 1 meter then that is sufficient for residential building so we will take the width of going as 1 meter now if width of first going is 1 meter then width of second going will also be 1 meter and for the spacing we can take it as 0.2 meter because we don't need much space over here so we will enter these values we have decided it 1 meter 1 meter and 0.2 meters now how to determine width of landing so this is our first going this is our second going and each one is of 1 meter so if you are assuming that we have to move an object of width 1 meter then this landing should be at least 1 meter so that the movement can be easy but to make it more comfortable we can increase this landing width to 1.2 meter so we will assume the width of landing as 1.2 meter so now we have everything that we need so we will go back to our plan width of first going is 1 meter width of second going is 1 meter and the spacing between these goings is 0.2 meter so th from this we can calculate the width of the staircase so this will be the sum of width of first going width of second going and the spacing between the goings so it's 1 meter plus 0.2 meter plus 1 meter which will be equals to 2.2 meters now we have landing width as what 1.2 meter going we have calculated as 3 meter do you remember the calculation of the going here the length of going was calculated 3 meter and this landing will be equal to the upper one that is 1.2 meter so if we will add up this distance this distance and this distance then we can determine the length of a staircase so it's 1.2 plus 3 plus 1.2 so length of a staircase will be 5.4 meters so this is how we determine width and length of the staircase i hope you have understood this video completely and now you can calculate your length and width of a staircase so easily so if you like our video you can hit the like button and to stay tuned with all those updates you can click on the bell but before clicking on the bell you can subscribe our channel 